Greetings everybody! Welcome back to the channel, Cards Everywhere here. Today I am bringing you a Curious Cuisine deck. We will give you a quick rundown and we'll jump into a game to see how it does. First up is a key and saltfish. On the return, this card gains 70 power permanently. Next up, Bulgogi. On the return, if you lost a turn, this card gains 30 power until played. Next is Mullis Fruities. On the play, if you're winning the round, this card gains 21 power. Next up, Kak El Eid. On the return, if your deck has 10 or more Curious Cuisine cards, your Curious Cuisine cards, wherever they are, gain 15 power this round. Next is Hamburger. On the play, this card loses 20 power this turn, and your other cards in hand gain 35 power this turn. Very, very good card for only 3 energy. Next is Fedora. On the return, if you lost a turn, lose 2 energy. Next up, Caviar. On the draw, for every card you play this game, this card costs minus 2 energy until played. And if it's round 1, turn 1, this card loses 100 power and costs minus 22 energy until played. So hopefully we are not too unlucky and draw this card on the first turn. Next is Ononomo Yaki. On the return, if you have played Aki and Saltfish this game, your Aki and Saltfish card, wherever it is, costs plus 8 energy and gains 80 power permanently. Next up, Spam Musubi. On the draw, if your deck has two or more Curious Cuisine cards, your Fusion and Ultra Fusion cards, wherever they are, gain 8 power permanently. Next is Sushi. On the play, this card gains 30 power, and on the return, if you won the turn, this card gains 30 power permanently. Next is Fusion, Pizza. On the draw, your Curious Cuisine cards, wherever they are, gain 12 power until played, and your Fangtooth Moray card, wherever it is, gains 15 power until played. Next up, Gwelwyn. At the start of a turn, if you... Your Curious Cuisine cards, wherever they are, gain 4 power until played. So we will be holding on to this card for the entirety of the game. Unless we need to play it to win a turn. Next up, Bellini. On the draw, if you're trading by 200 or more, your cards in hand gain 40 power this turn. Next up, Deep Fried Mars Bar. On the return, if your deck has 14 or more Curious Cuisine cards, give them, wherever they are, 7 power permanently. Next up, the Mythic, the Soul. On the play, your Philosophy, Curious Cuisine and Musically Minded cards in hand gain 55 power until played. Next is the Gingerbread Man. On the play, for every Curious Cuisine card played by either player this game, this card gains 5 power permanently. Second to last is American Short Hair. On the return, if you lost a turn, your Curious Cuisine cards, wherever they are, gain 24 power until played. Absolutely fantastic card for this deck. And lastly we have the Ultra Fusion, the Renaissance. On the draw, your Arts and Culture cards, wherever they are, gain 10 power until played. And also on the draw, if your deck has 6 or fewer Arts and Culture cards, your Arts and Culture cards, wherever they are, gain 18 power until played. So, that is the deck, guys. We'll take it into a game to see how we do. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for this deck. Uh, I'm sure there is improvements to be made. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there if you do enjoy the content. So, we have found an opponent. And first up, we are in the birds arena. Hopefully the opponent is not playing birds, but uh, we will have to wait and see. Looks like we got very unlucky with the caviar, so we'll get that out and around. Next up, we have Bulgogi, as we will be losing this turn. And I will play the Onodomoyaki. It is unfortunate we will be losing the first round, 
But um, hopefully we can pull through as this deck does ramp up as the game goes on. So let's see if we get any better draws this turn. We have our Gelwin. So we will be holding on to that card for as long as we can. So we will play the Bellini, the Gingerbread Man, and we'll play the Hamburger as well for 205. I do not have any hope of winning this round, but um, I think we can pull through at the end of the game. So the opponent is well ahead now. Looks like he's playing a very strong deck. Let's see what we draw for the next turn. We have our American Shorthair and the Soul. So we will get Aki and Soulfish in front, the American Shorthair, and we'll play the Soul to boost our other cards in hand for hopefully winning the next round. As we do want to win the turn with Sushi to get the full effect of the card. So there we have it. We have lost the first round. But I still have confidence we can pull through in the end. So there is 70 power permanently to Aki and Saltfish. Now we are going into round two with one loss. Let's see if we can win this round. So we got our pizza and our fajora. So I will get the sushi out in front. So that card will be quite strong this turn. We will get our pizza and we will play Kak El Eid. That's a 322 turn. Hopefully the opponent cannot match it, as I would like to win this turn to get the full effect of sushi. And it looks like we succeeded and we are well in the head, well ahead. The opponent does have the Heimdall, so he will be playing stronger cards for the rest of the round. But I think we are ahead enough to have the advantage. So we drew our Renaissance and the deep fried Mars bar. So I'm going to go all out this round, play our strongest stuff. I will be holding on to our Gelwin. So, we'll play Deep Fried Mars Bar and Fedora. It's 285. Uh, what else have we got? 291. I think I'll hold on to Fedora as I would like to keep the energy. So, it's a 417 turn from the opponent. Very, very strong. We are still slightly in the lead. Hopefully we get some good pulls here and we can pull ahead and win this round. So we got our caviar. Very good. That's a 188 on its own. We played the Fedora. And since we are winning the round, we'll get the full effect of the moles. So it's a 425. Looks like we did it. So that is one win for us and one win for the opponent. As you can see, the deck ramps up fairly quickly. So we are going into round three in the Space Arena. Let's see what we get. So we will start off with the Bulgogi. We'll play Ononomi Ononomiyaki. And I do want to intentionally lose this turn, so I'll play the Renaissance and save a bit of energy at the same time. So that's a 302. Looks like we didn't lose the turn, but that's not so bad, really. We are in the lead now. Unfortunately, General Sherman is working against us. Let's see what we draw here. There's our Gingerbread Man and the Aki and Saltfish. It is very expensive now at the moment. So I will play the Bellini for a 340 turn. Let's see if we can do it. Unfortunately, the opponent hit our best card with Shinigami. So that will put us quite behind. But again, we will just be keep ramping up stronger. And there is another 70 power permanently to Aki and Saltfish. So we will probably lose this round. 
So we'll play the Gingerbread Man and the American Short Air for the boost for losing the turn. So there we have it. Another loss for us. Unless the opponent plays some very bad cards, but I do not see that happening. So another loss for us, but I think we can pull through in the next two rounds. As the American Short Hair will give a 24 boost to everything, and we have the Soul in hand to guarantee the next round. So let's see what we draw. There is Sushi. So I think we will play Sushi, the Soul, and the Hamburger for a 572 turn. I don't think the opponent can match that this turn. So there we have it. We are in the lead by a decent amount. Going into the second turn of the game. So I think we have this round in the bag already. And our well again, Gullwin is getting very, very strong there in the corner. So we can play that as a nice surprise on the opponent. So we have our pizza at 200. I think we will play that just to guarantee this round. And then we might be able to play some weaker cards in the last turn to get some boosts. So we have our deep fried Mars bar. We have our spam. And I think I'll play Kak El Eid for 394. The opponent did beat us out on the turn, but we are winning overall. Energy is a bit low at the moment. So I will try to conserve it if we can. There's our caviar. So let's see what we have here. We'll play our pizza. We'll play our fedora. That's a 404. I think that'll be enough to win the round. Looks like it was. So there we have it, round two, and we have some very, very strong cards in hand for the third round. So let's keep going. Round three, Oceans and Seas Arena. Getting our boosts to everything. So we'll play the Caviar. We'll play the Bulgogi. And I think we'll play Mul's Frutas for 414. There is the opponent Shinigami again doing work. But it looks like we still pull ahead in the turn. The opponent has the Heimdall. But we still have our Gelwun waiting in the background. There's our Aki and Saltfish. Quite expensive at the moment. But we will get it out anyway. So, it's 392, 428. I think we'll go with that. 428 turn. Very, very strong. The opponent was not able to match it, so we are still in the head by a little bit. And we should have a very strong hand for next turn. Let's see if we can do it. There's our gingerbread man and American short hair. So we'll get the Galwin out. What has Gingerbread Man? 596. I think that will be enough. Let's see if it is. Unfortunately, I'm only able to play the two cards, but let's see if we can pull out the victory. Ooh, it's a very strong turn from the opponent. It will be close. We just about got it by one point. That was very, very close. That is a great game. So, guys, we got the victory in the end. It was by the skin of our teeth, but a victory is a victory. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Cards everywhere, out.